Hey guys, it's Cal with The Lighting Doctor. I hope you guys enjoyed all our do-it-yourself landscape lighting videos on YouTube and have taken advantage of our Try It Before You Buy It kit. Another thing that we offer to help make your landscape lighting project as easy and straightforward as possible is our free landscape lighting consultations where you can actually send me directly pictures of your property at cal at lightingdoctor.ca and I'm gonna review those and give you a video presentation of the best kind of lights to use, the best positioning and the best way to go about your project to make it as easy and simple as possible for you. So to get your free consultation video, just email me at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and I'll get back to you with your own video presentation. In the meantime, go and check out a bunch more of our videos on YouTube and our resource page at lightingdoctor.ca and I look forward to all your guys' comments and questions. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, now I'm going to quickly show you how to install your own low voltage landscape lighting system. And for more questions, go to YouTube and search Lighting Doctor, how to install landscape lighting. The first step is selecting your lights. We're going to recommend using good quality, high efficiency LED lamps and fixtures. This will make your system easier to install with less need to worry about voltage drop and other things. Plus, you can also change the bulbs intensity and beam angles to get the desired look that you want. You can also retrofit most existing halogen systems by going and finding good quality LED MR16 bulbs for most of your accent lights and T3 LED lamps for most of your path lights. Once you've got all your lights selected, the next step is going and placing your lights. This can easily be done using just a small shovel and we recommend a simple rubber mallet to help pound in your ground stakes and keep them secure. Be sure that the fixtures that you have come with a good quality ground stake to keep them from being knocked over down the road. At every fixture you want to make sure that you're leaving extra wire for either future expansion or so that you can troubleshoot any issues that may arise down the road. Once you've got all your lights placed the next step is connecting your wires. It's very easy to do just be sure that your wire connectors all have two main components. They are gel filled and waterproof qualities as well as snap tight mechanical connections that will keep your wires from pulling apart down the road and the waterproofing will keep those connections from corroding so that your landscape lighting system can last as long as possible. For more info on this search YouTube for Lighting Doctor how to wire your low voltage landscape lighting. Once you've got all your connections made the next step is to test your lights from your transformer. Most transformers will have a 12 volt or a 15 volt as well as a common tap. All you have to do is simply take one of your wires and attach it to the common tap and one wire and, and attach it to the either 12 volt or 15 volt tap. If you have a system of more than 20 lights we recommend getting a good transformer that has at least a 15 volt tap. Be sure to size all your transformers at least 20 percent more than the actual wattage of all your lights. For mounting your transformer, try and find a 4x4 post or a good solid structure that you can mount next to your GFCI receptacle. So you, all you have to do is plug it in, turn it on, and you're good to go. Burying the wire is also quite simple. There's no specific depth that it needs to go as long as it's deep enough that you're not going to interrupt it down the road. We simply use a flat sided spade shovel, cut a small trench, and lay our wire down and then step over it and within a couple days you won't even know it's there. In the mulch, simply pull back the mulch, place your wire and using some simple landscape staples is a great way to secure it. So I hope that gave you a good idea of how to install low voltage landscape lighting and as mentioned for more tips go to YouTube and search Lighting Doctor.